Hi, my name is Brian, and I'm here to talk a little bit about database diagrams. Okay, to get right to the point, database diagrams are a top-down structure, really a bird's-eye view of all your tables within each database. You're going to see one of two prompts when you right-click your database diagrams, which of course is within all these adventure works. This is obviously from my home PC. So you can right-click this, and you're going to be prompted to either have new database diagram or install diagram support. Install diagram support is uh, is you know it takes a lot of permissions and a lot of people will not have the permissions available to do this on their work PCs. Even if you do, you may get into trouble once you actually do do this. It will create a very small new um, uh, system uh, system table, I believe, or something like that. Um, so you should probably check with your lead DBA if you are going to do this. All you do, you click this, click yes takes one two seconds nothing much at all so obviously it's already installed up on here so we can do either or let's do this one and you can shift click down and select them all or you can just do it manually we're just gonna select them all here now remember if your tables have to be extremely large it will take your computer a minute my computer is ridiculously fast <clears throat> so it doesn't really take that long okay once you hit close here it auto forms to what it thinks would be a nice structure which it kind of is Okay, and I'm going to go into a little bit more about what you can do here within this. You can do actually a, a lot. Um, when you right click each table, you can choose table views. Um, I honestly think that the table view standard is a little bit better. This one is a little bit more just normal top down view. They don't, um, they don't prompt you immediately to have this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to control A, all the tables. I right, had to click out right there. And I'm going to change the view here to standard. Now when I change it to standard, I can then reform by arranging these tables with this button right up here. You can arrange the selection, auto size, select the tables, things like that. Okay? So now I can do even a lot more here. I can rearrange the data types if I want to. I can establish connections here if I want to. Okay? A lot else. Um, so if we go in here to the links, I can delete this relationship from the database. Okay? So be extremely careful if you're actually in your work PC database and deleting stuff within here. It, it, it gets immediately reflected. Um, if you don't want it within your, uh, your diagram, you can just remove the table from your diagram. And everything related to it, all the links, will also be subsequently deleted. Okay? Notice I cannot control Z out of this. You know, you can't undo. What you can do is you can exit out and then uh, not save and re-enter and this table will be back. Okay? Um, what else you can do? Um, you can establish relationships, establish some foreign keys, get some referential integrity if you want. If you want to establish some sort of connection between this and this, you can do that. Okay, you get immediately prompted to do that here. Okay, um, and uh, just to close out, you know, this is this is a pretty powerful tool. It's really fun to mess around with on your home PC. Uh, be extremely careful uh, when you're doing it on your work PC. Thanks so much. See you next week.